Wubin is a Chinese flashlight company that's come up with some very unique and highly functional flashlights. One such light is the X1. Well, now I have another light from Wubin, which is the smaller brother to the X1. This is the X2. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I'd like to thank Wubin for sending me the X2 so that I could share it with you. Now, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'm going to go over the key features for this light, as well as its physical and performance specification and its modes of operation. Then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Wubin X2 flashlight, also known as the OWL, let's uh, look at what else it came with. So this is the box that the light arrived in. Nice presentation box. Inside is the ever-present uh, manual and warranty information. Two unique things you don't often see with a light. This is a neck lanyard, yes, but it is also a charging cable. So there's a USB Type-C charging cable, cable built into this neck lanyard, something just a, a little different to have. And a diffuser for the end of the light. And I'll show you how that goes on when uh, I'll operate it in a little while. But it just fits on over the end of the light and provides quite a nice red light. And uh, all right, so let's just put those accessories aside and bring the flashlight back into the picture. So uh, the key features for this light, kind of unique, small size. I was quite surprised by the lumen setting. This has on turbo a max output of 25 lumens. Now, it's not a thrower. It is a uh, floodlight, if you will. You can see the three LEDs working in conjunction there, but it still has a beam distance of 146 meters when on turbo. It has a unique on-off switch. Now, it is borrowed from the X0, another flashlight in this X series from Wubin. I don't have that light to share with it, but the flashlight cover or the charging port cover also acts to be the on off switch. So let me just see if I can bring it in close enough and have it focus. So you can see the USB type C charging port there. Right below it is a small button. That's the operating button for the light. On either side of the charging port are small magnets. So it kind of holds it down in place. So that is the operating system as, or the operating button as well as the cover for the charging port. So that's kind of unique. One thing that I only found out after going through the manual with some detail, because it's not in most of the information or not readily found in most of the information is that this has a customizable setting mode. In other words, you can change the low, medium, high to different lumen settings within given ranges. So if you don't like what the factory set for you, you can change it yourself. Kind of a nice feature. I don't see any need personally to make any changes to the light, but I know some people really like to customize their light and play with it a little bit. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice feature to have. All right, let's go over the physical specifications for this light. So the overall dimensions in this direction, 3.35 inches, which is 85 millimeters. Across this width here is 1.54 inches, which is 39 millimeters. And the thickness top to bottom, not including the pocket clip on it, is 0.79 inches, which is 20 millimeters. The weight comes in at 4.06 ounces, which is 115 grams. And it does have a waterproof rating of IP68 and an impact rating of one meter. All right, let's go over the performance specifications for the Wubin X2. On turbo, as I mentioned, it does have a high of 2,500 lumens. Of course, that's only going to last for one minute before the heat protection circuitry drops it down to 800 lumens, but that will last for another hour. On high, it will have a, an output of 400 lumens, lasting 2.5 hours. On medium, output 100 lumens, lasting for 10 hours. On low, it has a 5 lumen output, lasting for 80 hours. So there is no firefly. The lowest setting you have on this light is the 5 lumens. It does have an SOS mode, which will operate at 200 lumens. It does not give the length of time. And the same thing for strobe. Strobe will operate at 100 lumens, but an undetermined amount of time. All right, what I thought I'd do is just before going into the operation of the X2 is that I'd bring the X1 back into the picture just so you can get some size comparisons between the two of them. 
This is a big heavy light. Now it's got a real maximum performance as we looked at in the other video. But again, I just wanted to give you a bit of a size. They called this an EDC light and of course it's not. It, you can't carry, well maybe you could carry that in a holster and there is one provided with this larger light, but I wouldn't call it an EDC light at all. However, this one I certainly would call an EDC light. In fact, uh, Wubin refers to it as an easy carry light. So a little different way of framing it, but it is nice little light for carrying. Sits nice in the pocket. That pocket clip is quite stiff, but still Still very functional and of course if you needed to you can remove it loosen it up a little bit put it back on now speaking of taking things on and off this light this light is operated from two 2000 milliamp hour 14 500 lithium ion batteries but they are not removable I say they're not removable and it even says on the bottom do not remove however you can see I suppose if it wasn't under warranty and you felt the need to, you could access the batteries on the inside. It's just not recommended by Wubin, and doing so would void the warranty. Okay, so now let's get into the operation of this light. So as I mentioned, everything is done from this little lever type of a switch right here on the light. And it's just a simple press on, press off. And if you press and on and hold the button, it'll cycle low, medium, high, low, medium, high, of course, turning the light back off and turning it back on. It does have a memory for the last lumen setting, which is nice. Now to access turbo, it's like many of the lights, double tap while the light is either on or off. And you can see just how bright it is as the camera adjusts for the brightness. If you want to access strobe, you would triple tap while the light is on and off on or off that is. And if you want to access the beacon, triple tap while it's in strobe. Or SOS, not beacon, sorry. All right, just before moving on, there is one more feature of this light that I want to share with you, and that is the electronic lockout. And I think that's a very good feature to have on this light because as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to turn the light on or off with the on off switch right there. In fact, it's quite easy to do so. I found even have it in my pocket that you could bump it on or off. So if you are gonna be carrying this in your pocket and there's any risk of the button getting pressed, it's a good idea to make use of the electronic lockout. And to do that, all you have to do is press quickly four times on the on off switch, one, two, three, four. The light will flash a few times to tell you that it's locked and now if I Press it, as you can see, nothing is happening. Now to turn the electronic lockout off, you just press again four times quickly. One, two, three, four. The light will come on at its lowest lumen setting. Having gone over the key features as well as the physical and performance specifications and the modes of operation, let's get outside and do some testing. All right, we're doing some nighttime testing for the Wubin X2. I am working in my backyard and um, turn the light on low. I can barely see this, so I can't imagine that it's showing up on the camera, but I will take it up to medium. Now, medium, I can see around my backyard, but it's not like it's daylight like I will be, but let's take it up to high. Now, high does a good job of illuminating my backyard, the neighbor's backyard, and it is reaching the garage two doors up. Not excessively bright, but it is all flood, and that's what I like about it. There's a very faint hot spot, but by and large, it's all flood, and that's what you want from a nice little EDC light. Let's turn it up to turbo. Okay, now that really did make a difference. Significant. So at 2,500 lumens for this tiny little light, totally illuminates my backyard, the neighbor's yard, the next door up, and even further that I can see through to that. Okay, we have one more test to show. All right, so what I wanted to show here was the light with uh, the red light on. So that is on high, but uh, let me just hold it. It'll take it down to low. And you're not seeing a whole lot on the camera, and I'm not seeing a whole lot either, but I think in an enclosed area, this would provide me a significant amount of light. But if I take it up to medium, now you can see that's illuminating me. It's not that I can navigate with it, but it is providing me a significant amount of light. Again, I could use it for looking at a map, reading a book, finding what it is I'm looking for in my tent, taking it up to high. That's quite bright, but uh, a bit too bright maybe for reading or whatever you'd use a red light for most of the time. However, using it like this, that's another story. 
that's what I really like about this. That is a nice bright light that you could take with you walking through the neighborhood or anywhere that you feel you need to be seen. All right, let's see if we can wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts on the Wuben X2 Owl or Easy Carry Light. What do I really like about this light? Well, it's exactly that. It's really easy to carry. This is a very nice EDC, everyday carry light. Because of its design and its relatively flat nature, you can get this into your pocket and carry it quite easily. Now it still has a little bit of weight more than a smaller flashlight would have, but it has a whole lot more power. The fact that it's using two of the 14500 uh, size batteries, which are equivalent physically in size to double A's, of course with a lot more power, means that you're going to get some pretty good performance out of this. And as you saw, it does deliver on that promise. It has good long run times for each of the lumen settings. And when you kick it up to turbo, it may not have the longest beam cast, but boy, it sure illuminates the area around you. So those are the things I really like about this light. What's not to like about this light? Well, this is not a deal breaker. Again, this is just something for you to be aware of. And that is the on off button right here. It, the way it stands out makes it easy to find, especially if you're holding it this way and you have your other fingers wrapped around the pocket clip but it makes it easy to turn on, almost too easy to turn on. And that can happen if you put it in your pocket and you're not careful and you bump something and you could accidentally turn it on. So again, I just mentioned that it does have that electronic lockout. So that is something to make use of when you're dropping this into your pocket. Now, one thing I have no reason to disbelieve is this has a, a waterproof and dustproof rating of IP68, which means it can be submerged under waters for two meters for one hour. Um, that's hard to believe when you look at this and you see that that port is, or this flap is what's covering the charging port, but that's what Wubin says, so I'll have to take them at the word. I did not drop it in a puddle for two hours to see if it would actually work. But uh, yeah, okay, so those are just my thoughts on this. Overall impression of this, this is right now gonna be sitting at my nightstand beside the bed and when I go for walks around the neighborhood during the night, then I am going to be carrying this with me. You know, it's a nice feature to have that little red diffuser, silicone diffuser to go over the end of this. And I found that in the walks around my neighborhood, there's a couple of intersections which can be a little difficult to cross at night in terms of the traffic. So having that, and I can touch on the strobe and have the diffuser light on there, lets people know that I want to get across the street. So just another nice little feature for safety when you're out in the evening. Okay, I will be providing all the information I have for this light in terms of its performance and physical specifications and the links to where you can purchase it all in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions on this light, please put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.